Saka Fet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today on the menu I have some delicious breakfast omelette wraps. These were so tasty. Oh my goodness, you need to try these. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, what does Saka Fet mean? It actually means, how are you? How are you doing today? What's going on with you? It's basically a greeting you give to a friend or to anyone when you just want to check to see how they are. That's all it means. So whenever I say Saka Fet YouTube, I just mean, what's going on YouTube? Hello my darlings! So today we're making some breakfast omelette wraps and these are my ingredients. We're gonna use some onions some bell peppers I'm also going to use some spring onions you can make this your own by adding in any ingredients that you like um, you can add mushrooms as well you can add bacon you can add whatever you like I'm first gonna go ahead and just blend up my seasonings in my food processor and now I'm gonna go ahead and crack the eggs I'm gonna be using about four or five eggs because I'm gonna be making about four or five wraps so that's what I'm doing you can also just go ahead and just crack your eggs and put in your seasonings and stuff but we people from the Caribbean we love to remove the eye from the egg real name is the chalaza however i say the eye from the egg some people don't do this and it's fine it's just that you know it's something that i grew up doing traditionally so you can let me know in the comments if you do that as well season lightly with a bit of salt some black pepper and this everyday bagel seasoning it is so tasty i add it in there and give it a quick whisk and these are the wraps that I will be using. These were low in fat and I got it from Tesco. There are some mini breakfast wraps and I think these are perfect for this. So let's go ahead and cook them up. I'm gonna start by oiling a small frying pan. You can use some butter, but I'm just using some avocado oil and I'm gonna go ahead and add one scoop full of my egg mixture into my frying pan. Make sure it covers the bottom and then I'm gonna grate a little bit of cheese on there. However, the cheese is optional. You can always leave that out if you don't want to. Add some bits of bacon to that or some mushrooms, but guys, just make it however you prefer. I'm now gonna go ahead and just put the wrap on the top. Give it a little shake and once the egg starts to move together with the wrap, flip it over. Add some more cheese, because you can never have too much cheese, right? <laughs> also forgot to mention that I had my heat on low for because you don't want to put your heat too high on this burns flip it over ensure that it's toasted on all sides and after about three to five minutes this is how it's supposed to look nice and toasted guys this was so so easy to make my boys devoured this and the best thing about it is you can actually make it and store it in the freezer if you want to you know guys this was just so so good i'm gonna go ahead and just fry up the rest and once i'm all done i will show you how amazing Amazing it all looks.
so this was my last one all done so i'm gonna go ahead and just place them on my pizza board and i'm gonna cut one of them to show you how it looks guys this was just so good ready in no time at all i know it's a new year and sometimes you just want to switch up breakfast a bit try this easy breakfast omelette wrap and you won't regret it you can always just pair it with your favorite dipping sauce i just went in with some plain ketchup because you know i didn't really want to do anything too extra and yes this was it all done so i really hope you enjoy this breakfast wrap let me know what sort of recipes you want to see me do next and maybe i shall record it it has been a pleasure having you in my kitchen of course and uh, don't forget to read the quote in the end the quote is for you make sure you take something from it sometimes it may apply sometimes it may not but yes my darlings thank you for watching bye bye